what is the meaning of Atlas Lion International? Why did I create it? What does it mean? I'll be going over all of that today. So the first thing I want to go over is what Atlas Lion International actually means. You could wonder, is it just Atlas? Is it Atlas Lion? And International is next. So Atlas Lion, that's one thing, because my fair animals are lions. I thought Atlas Lion is something something specific. Atlas lion, that was a lion that existed in North Africa, in Barbary Mountains. They became extinct in like the 1920s or 30s, something like that, because they've been hunted. And I've been interested in rock and history, so I want to use that lion as far as my name, Atlas lion. It's also called the Barbary level, the Barbary Mount, <laughs> the Barbary lion, but we don't use the Barbary word. So that's where Atlas Lion comes from. So please remember this. And if you're contacting me anywhere, just remember it's one thing. Now, the international part, it's just something I just wanted to add it on because maybe I could be internationally known. That's basically it. And one of the most perfect things I like about Atlas Lion International is I always wanted to change my name and it spells out Ali which is kind of obvious because I kind of put it everywhere and that's where I just want to be referred to Ali and you know it's more than just like the Arabic backgrounds it has and my connections with Islam but it just makes it more of an empowering name you know Atlas Lion International the name Ali Muhammad Ali the way I kind of set that up was just Perfect. Now let's get into the good stuff. The story. Why did I even create this in the first place? Well, this all started a week after I made my transformation, well, my three week transformation fitness goals on Halloween that I used to kind of keep track of my fitness journey. That was October 31st. A week later, November 7th, I created the whole Atlas Line International thing. So it happened in junior year of high school. It was a very low point in my life, even though I just started working out, it didn't really add much value other than, you know, trying to look cool. So I just started working out and I just got this idea of what can I make something out of this? Or like, what can I make out of this? And I just kept brainstorming ideas. So at the time I started watching a lot of Lee movies. I started and it being shredded and I was like mm. that's something I wanted to aspire to look like and this was all in my mind before and a little bit after I created Atlas Lion and really went into it so what really probably triggered me to create that was I used to have this like weird kind of crushes and there was this like ugly girl I don't even know why I was attracted to her and basically just got rejected and that didn't really make my life any better. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to make something out of this. And that's when I was just thinking, thinking. I think it was probably sometime late at night. I just typed it up, Atlas Lion International. And I said something like, this is going to be big or something like that. I'll just post a thing and you can see it yourself. I posted that on my Instagram story. I was like, okay, I just created something. Now what do I do? I can't entirely remember if I knew that I was going to make it about fitness, martial arts, and weapons. But at this point, these were all interests of mine. Because, like I said, I had just started working out. And I started throwing knives in 2018, so a year before that. And I think I started to become interested in using nunchucks, and I got that months after that after I got some things together like after I got some more weapons I decided okay I can make some videos with these and from that 2019 to 2021 period I was just making beginner videos that should be self-explanatory I was doing things thought I wasn't good but I wasn't I was just a beginner but it's, it's all part of the process we all go through that if you look on my YouTube channel in the about part where you see when I joined YouTube. I created it in about 
March or April 2020. And that's when I originally started to do the whole YouTube thing. But I didn't really work out. I'm kind of glad that I just kind of scrapped that and waited till I became more knowledgeable so I could actually, more knowledgeable, skillful, so I could actually put out, you know, higher quality content like I'm trying to do now. And for a long time, people have always recommended me, like, you should start a YouTube channel, you should start a YouTube channel. And I just kind of brushed it off because, like, okay, for a while, people were always like, you know, start a YouTube channel, you start a YouTube channel. And I kind of just brushed it off because, like, YouTube's the hardest platform to grow on. I'm probably not going to get far. It's probably not even worth it. Like, I just really just brushed it off. But as you can see, I'm doing it now. I got a thousand subscribers within a year. It hasn't even been a year yet. It will be in February 2024. And it's a, it's a decent amount. It's not a whole lot. Like, I don't have hundreds of thousands or thousands, just 1,000, but it's a lot for me to be honest. I've tried to do YouTube a lot of times in my life, like ever since like 20, 2011, that's when I first started to make my YouTube video. It's out there, but I'm not even, I'm not even going to tell you about it. Some people might know, but what I can say is I do see this getting somewhere because I'm not growing like super fast, but it's going up. It's growing actually faster than my Instagram has. And follow me on Instagram, I have the same username everywhere. It's not hard to find. Because I'm pretty close to where pretty soon I'm probably going to start getting more subscribers than Instagram followers. And I'm more active on Instagram. So like, whose algorithm is better? And I'm going to stick to what gets me out there more. I think YouTube is what I'm really going to rely on the most to start putting myself out there because I think YouTube's taken more seriously than, you know, if you get a whole lot of subscribers, I mean, followers on Instagram or TikTok because, you know, that just kind of come and goes. Whereas on YouTube, you have to actually create longer form original content and people usually take people on YouTubers more seriously right so i'm just glad that i found something that gave my life meaning i have something to work for or towards and i do see this going pretty far like you know reaching international level someday when i don't know but i believe it's gonna happen and just real quick or however long i go i want to talk about purpose like we really have to find something that gives your life that gives your life purpose because it, like I said, it's something to work towards. It's something that wants to keep you alive. And this is what really brought me and helped me with this depression. Because when you're depressed, it's like, you know, it's over, you don't have anything to live for, and you just wanna get rid of yourself, right? Versus when I have that feeling, I'm like, if I die, you know, what could have I become? Like, what could I be have became if I just did this. So that's something that really keeps me alive. And it's really important for young men today, right? Because of the whole mental health crisis that's going on. A lot of men are depressed and because their life doesn't have meaning. If they had meaning, you know, they'd be getting up and doing something. And I know with this being my dream, my vision, people will say, you know, this is, this is crazy, it's too much, it's too unrealistic. But, and I get it. Because, you know, people, they go down this road and maybe I fit them with something. There's like, I just can't do it. I'm going to get a job I hate for the rest of my life and go down that road. But I believe that if you keep trying and you don't give up, you will make it somewhere, man. That's why I'm just going to keep going, doing what I do. This is my only option. This is the way my life is going to be. And I will make a living from doing what I love get more in-depth explanation or my view on purpose and the meaning of purpose go well, check out my video the meaning of purpose i explain it all well over there so yeah that's really the theme purpose i liked it how much purpose that gave something i gave a meaning and purpose and 
here we are today. So that's the story of Atlas Line International, fourth anniversary. Be sure to drop a like, comment, whatever it is you want to comment, share this video, and I'll see you next time.